Special Projects, Nicole? This is Henry Toppel. How are you settling in, Nicole? Good, sir. Uh, The data sets are amazing. Good, good. And everyone is being nice to you? Yes, very nice. Give me their names. I will deal with them personally. Now, I have a question about these uh, 33 RLs you submitted. 33 RLs. Uh, I'm sorry, which Uh, one is that again? Ms. Winter's Deep Skim Summary of Private Electronic Communications Classified Transit 002. Oh, okay, right. Uh, Email. Yes. These emails you analyzed. How did you have time to read all these emails? There are millions of them. Are you a witch? Uh, uh, The computer does it. Oh, right, of course. Line 10, read email. Line 20, go to 10. End of line. I get it. It's a, it's a little more complicated than that. We scan data for patterns and key phrases using algorithms. I understand, like Dvorak's equation key. What is that? It was developed by DARPA in the 1950s. We used it to communicate with the hostages in Tehran. It's a stochastic matrix of lettered dice enclosed in a discrete plastic cube. Are you talking about Boggle? Maybe I am. Oh. We, I didn't know we were using Boggle for... Kill the Ayatollah. Computers are more powerful than Boggle. Uh, When I started this agency, we didn't bother with computers. We had disguises. You know, when it comes to gathering intelligence, a fake mustache is worth a hundred computers. I never thought about it that way. I once used a mustache called the Undertaker's Broom to infiltrate Noriega's palace now. That was a thing of beauty. Probably one of the top ten fake mustaches ever deployed in defense of our nation. I miss it. What happened to it? Oh, well, Missy, I'll tell you, in the 1990s, our mustache budget was slashed in favor of these computers that you love so much. Why don't you just grow your own mustache? Because that wouldn't be a disguise. Also, I can't grow a mustache. I can't produce testosterone. Haven't been able to since I accidentally licked a bunch of forever stamps two years ago. You know the post office doses them, don't you? No, I, I didn't. Do you know why they're called forever stamps? Is it, uh, because... You can use them forever. That was going to be my first guess.